Good morning. I'm down here. I'm down here. Down here. That bit to Good that Good morning, way. everybody. Bit to that way. Good morning. <laughs> we are in Porth <laughs> Madug. Um, no idea what to expect here at all. No. So this should be quite a bit of fun. It looked nice driving in. Yep. Uh, quite a big place. It's got a big Tesco's here. Oh, is there? Yeah. Um, and a harbour bit. Cool. And we've got a wonderful looking campsite, so I'm looking forward to it. Yeah, today's going to be good. Let's see what's available. I'm starting to get the feeling this is like a one street wonder. Yeah, <clears throat> it's going to be alright. Uh, pub behind us called the Australia. Yeah, it's really nice. Unusual name. I've never seen a pub called that yet. Mm. Ever, I don't think. Oh, pies. Oh my god. <laughs> Here we go, Mazzy. Oh my god. Look at them sausage rolls. <gasps> look at those. They look well nice. Well in. I don't know what that is at the back. It's like a chicken stew or something. Wow. What's this place called? Why Deli. There you go. There's your menu, look. Homemade pork pies. Homemade scotch eggs. Homemade key. Oh, Mazzy. Homemade everything. We're not going to starve. No. Oh, is this our local town for the next two yeah. days? Yeah. Is it? Um, oh, it smells nice. Yeah. <laughs> I've not, I'm reading all the signs. There's oh, a Bishop, lot of look. Welsh words everywhere. Birds have birds. Look at that for bird elves. <laughs> yeah, I could get that, Mazzy. Leave it in the garage and just pull it out when we get on campsites. Sorry to interrupt, but I knew you'd love to see the birdie star. You do that all the time, I've noticed. Well, interrupt. Yeah. Because if I don't stop you, you you're halfway up the street before I'm allowed to speak. <laughs> nag, 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 nag. <laughs> yeah, I'll just apologise. Uh, whatever I was talking to you about before Mazzy interrupted me, I can't remember what it was, so I'm sorry I can't finish that uh, conversation. It obviously weren't that important. Might have been to them. And that's how you spell Porth Maddock. Porth Maddock, if anyone wants to know. So we've got a, a news agents. We've got a nice uh, bakery. We've got a big Asda uh, Tesco's at the bottom. There's a lot of these here in Wales, I've noticed. The factory shops. I don't know why they're so popular here. Oh, I see. Mazzy? Yeah, I've just spotted what it is. We've just missed it. Oh, okay, have we? Path Maddog FC versus Lan Beris. Now, can someone please, t it was in the Welsh Cup round one and it was August the 14th. Can someone please tell us the score in the comments? And Lan Beris is where your sister says it's beautiful there. Oh, is that where she says? Yes. Ah, it, we were trying to head there, but we couldn't. It didn't not look an overnight. Or, it didn't no. look very motor home friendly. Yeah, um, we'll have to see. Yeah. So Mazzy's just going to get some fresh baps. Some soft ones. They look very nice. Yeah. As do them cakes there. <laughs> uh, the I'm scone really we got yesterday. Yeah. Your turn. Yeah. The huge scone we got yesterday. I just had. To, tiny piece of it and it was absolutely gorgeous i thought with it being a giant one you were just going to pay because it's a giant one but it tasted absolutely beautiful yeah nice to meet you too <laughs> yeah lovely we'll catch up soon mm, you take care my darling beautiful isn't she you're off your head you there's a butcher's there Can't say I've ever seen that before, a butcher's who hasn't actually got any meats displayed in the window. You have to go in to see the counter. Hey, you know why? It's the way you're getting you in, isn't it? And then you feel under pressure. I wouldn't go in unless I can see the glorious food in the window. <laughs> I think it is absolutely beautiful, Mazzy. Yeah, it is gorgeous. Look at that for a lamp. A rope lamp, 300 quid. Personally, I think it's a little on the expensive side. If you want unique, you have to pay for it. It's worth yeah, it. Yeah, it is nice. It is nice. Beautiful. It's really good because if we ever get a house, me and you like, always like the same things, don't we? Hey, I said I liked it. I didn't say I was buying it. 300 <laughs> quid? You're having a laugh. <laughs> I'll get you a candle. 
Right, what's going on here? A lamp post what's willing to have a chat with you. Hello lamp post. Hello, I'm PMLP2. <laughs> I'm here to chat. What's that all about? What's it all about? Someone tell us why there's a sign up saying there's a lamp post who wants to talk to us. Hi, oh, this is Violet. Talk with me to learn about this area and share your thoughts. I'll tell you what, lamp post. Um, what do you think about the butchers not having uh, any displays in the window? Nothing, nothing. It's a very ignorant lamp post, that's all I can say. Don't talk to lamp post around here. <laughs> You'd look crazy, wouldn't you? <laughs> So it's cheap to live in Porth Maddog. It's really cheap. You're looking at, well, 130, 130 for a very small house. But down here, you can actually buy a toilet. It looks like a toilet for 12,000 pounds. That's definitely a to an old toilet block, is it? I'd live in that, Mazzy. I'd be <laughs> happy in that. Imagine yeah. stories that could tell you. Town Hall place, and it's all done up well nice. That is really cheap for that, isn't it? 350. So, we're going to start a GoFundMe to buy this toilet. <laughs> we're going to call it, block. we're going to call it GoFundP. GoFundP. <laughs> 12 grand, we need it now. <laughs> so, one thing we are noticing, as I said earlier, I think there's a lot of Welsh writing on all the shop signs. Yeah. Hardly any. A E I O U's. <laughs> A E I O U. What's that? If you look at them, it's all F's and W's and Y's and S's. Oh, they're all like double F's. Um, See that? Look, that's a double F. That's in, a double F. And in all F. the shops, they all speak Welsh as well. Yeah. It's really strong here, which yeah. surprises me, really. It's really good, though. You actually feel like you're on holiday. Yeah, I'm on holiday. <laughs> Right, I'm just going to interrupt the middle of this video. This, and me. This is actually filmed the day after. Yeah. <laughs> um, we're having a day off today. Yay! <laughs> but all the footage you've already seen and all the footage you're about to see was filmed yesterday. Um, we've got to give some super thanks. Big, big super thanks. <laughs> to Peter Webster. Oh, Peter. <laughs> oh, bless you. Trevor Daly. Thank you, Trevor. Jacob Clayton. Oh, thank you, Jacob. James. Oh, thank you, James. <laughs> I'm starting to wonder if these are yesterday's and I'm repeating them. I don't know. We'll keep, we'll go with it. Uh, Dave Scadding. Thank you, Dave. And Rob Carsten. Oh, thank you, Rob. Huge thank <laughs> Huge you to all you guys. You. Your support means the world to us. Now, mm. yeah, what's coming up is uh, the rest of yesterday. Yeah. But before we do, we've just spent about the last hour. Mazit has had a problem with her phone storage. She's got an iPhone 10. Ever. I've gone through this forever. It's got a 64 yeah. gigabyte memory on it, and it is constantly always full. And she's deleting like family videos Precious and videos. stuff, which she yeah. don't want to, just so she can still use her phone. So we've gone into detail today and we've found mm. out YouTube was taking up 32 gigabytes. Plus. Plus. Half of the phone's memory. Um, mm. And we've just basically deleted YouTube. Reinstalled, reinstalled it, it. And it's now only taking 200 and something... Megabytes. Megabytes. I don't know and why. And our phone is less than half full now. Yeah, can someone explain to me why YouTube was taking up this amount of data? It did say something about documents or something. It must have been storing something it shouldn't have been storing. Yeah, but, yeah. Uh, so if anyone else has this trouble... Um, yeah, iPhone 10. if you've run yeah. out of storage, look at your YouTube. See how much data it's taking up. See, I have no um, clue about storage and stuff like that. It was only for the fact that you'd sort of wanted to look more into depth about it today, didn't you? And thank God, I actually feel like I've got a new phone. Because but of me. Before all this, I had to delete about 83 precious videos off my phone to try and still get some memory. And I've it's lost, sorted. I've lost it's it all. sorted. I sorted it because I'm well, great. I've lost all my memories, but. So, <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, on with the video. I don't know where yeah. we're going to put this in the video, but I think you've still got coming up the car park trouble. 
Oh yeah. Which is what the title and the thumbnail is all about. We had a bit of a nightmare. My dream seems to be coming true. New day, new sandwich with fresh baps straight out of the shop. Are you having an egg, did you say? Yeah, I hate eggs. But I'm always one of these that will say, I'll have an egg once a year. And I've been with you, what, five years? And I still haven't had that one egg. It's because there's no bacon. <laughs> Is there not? No, you've got the last I've egg. got bacon. Well, of course I'm going to give it to you. There's no sausage, though. I missed it, I'm sorry, I tried. There's me waving to him anyway. I couldn't get camera on quick enough. Oh, never mind. Right, we're just gonna pop up here, just to have a look around the harbour a bit. Yay, my favourite bit. <laughs> We've got about 45 minutes to, uh, to, what do we, to what? To, to, to. Get on campsite, how far is campsite? About five minutes, I think. Oh. Can you walk over here then? Oh. Yeah, let's walk over here. Over the train track. Um, yeah, we've just been round town, edited the footage and it was less than eight minutes, so sorry about that. <laughs> we clearly I didn't... Yeah, I don't know how. We didn't pick the camera up enough. Yeah. Are we allowed to cross? Don't know. So just at the other side of the car park, this lovely peaceful yeah. bit, with the amazing hills over there or mountains or is it a mixture of both? I think it's a mixture of both Will you shut I up? I love that! You know, it's alright hearing it once but it gets on your nerves after that He's waiting for... There's a Wilco's right next to us Yeah So if you need any pegs for your clothes <laughs> or washing powder in other words, any rubbish that you don't really need, let's be real. It's one of those shops, isn't it? Mm. <laughs> hey, yeah, it's quite nice on this side. Yeah, it's with lovely. With all this water yeah. and the uh, steam trains. They do steam train trips. Well, that is the whole point. Have you, have you not told <laughs> them? <laughs> uh, um, you can, like, get a return ticket to an another village. It's like a two and a half hour return trip or something, I don't know. Um, didn't really look into it to be honest. Jets. I can hear them but I can never see them. Mm, they're very high around here. We've found the best bit. Yes. There's actually a maritime museum down here as well. Oh is there? Yeah. Oh it's so lovely, I love it. Just turn you around, show you all these, look. All the boats in the harbour. I knew I'd seen pictures of a lovely picture in of our harbour boats. Yeah, yeah. Very nice. So the Maritime Museum. Mazzy's wondering whether to go in or not. It's only actually two quid an adult, which I think is quite good. But do you fancy it today? I'm not really in mood for a museum, I, I, to be I honest. I knew you were going to say that, yeah. But it is nice though, look at the old pictures and stuff. It's nice, isn't it? It's not like me to say I'm not in mood for a museum, but I'm not today. Oh, it's here, you know, we can always come back if we... are actually very quiet today, bless you. I'm getting a bit tired, I think. Oh yeah. Yeah, just I don't know. things it's catching the, up with me. It's the hanging around as well, though, isn't it? We've been up early, haven't we? I've not been sleeping great. No, you ain't. I have. I, I sleep for England, me, don't I? <laughs> From 5 p.m. till 5 a.m. <laughs> Once well, I hit that pillar, it's like yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it's actually quite beautiful here. So this area we absolutely are loving. It's the best bit, isn't it? You've got all the kids and the families all up there crabbing. The crabs. Crab pots. It's just so, so it's lovely. Nice. I just find it strange there isn't there's one cafe, but there's you'd think all oh, them would be shops around the lawn a bit. Yeah. There. They'd make a mint. It actually feels like we're in a totally different town. This and boat's huge, isn't it? Which one there? Hegira. Oh yeah, the cat catamaran, whatever they're called, aren't they? I don't know. 
and take this for whichever way you want to take it but come here definitely for this forget the town don't, the, this place don't need the town this bit is lovely isn't it how are they gonna get bread bread for what would you eat. need bread oh, nip into the town then emails again <laughs> yeah but this is a different video <laughs> Go on then, I'll point it on you. We have a few emails. So this one is from <laughs> Julie Hill. Thank you, Julie. Um, have you ever been approached by anyone to test out the mini wind turbines for electric supply? Would you consider using them? No, we haven't been approached by anyone, but that is something I have always wanted to try. What is it? What, well, hold on, explain. It's like solar power. It's like solar power. Wind power. But wind power like little egg cup things going round and you could stick them on the roof put them outside on a pole um, they did like a kit when I used to go camping and I wanted to try it for actual camping uh-huh brilliant brilliant idea um, but no it hasn't really taken off yet but I think it will in the next couple of years especially in windy Britain uh-huh um, <laughs> would you consider doing a no edit video occasionally could be a laugh We've all our videos are <laughs> we don't take anything out what you see is what yeah, you get yeah what you see is what you get <laughs> we cut off the beginning we cut off the end and you see all the rest yeah yeah um, <laughs> gavin brooks thank you gavin uh when you meet people in the street who watch the channel do you feel they have a sense of over -fami familiarity with you as watching your channel daily makes people feel like they really know you. Yeah, we quite often get people actually say to us, you know, we feel that we they feel like we're part of their family and stuff like that. And we get that all the time. Yeah, obviously they feel like they're closer with us than actually how we are with them because obviously they're strangers to us. People are strangers mm -hmm. at the end of the day. But yeah. Yeah, we get that a lot. <laughs> uh, have you ever had any encounters with subscribers, fans who might have crossed the line a bit? Yeah, but we'll go, that's not to be um, discussed. <laughs> only once I can think of, but they, um, were, they weren't horrible, they were just crossed the line mm, about what they were talking about. A couple, couple of couple of occasions I can think of. Have you ever found anyone intimidating? No. No. Because all the haters, all the cowards have never approached us, not one. <laughs> well, they certainly haven't said anything to us faces. Yeah. And um, that's the end of that one. And I'll do one more for now from Ron and Linda um, blah, 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 blah. Dan just wondered if you have you still got a fear of hornet since being gets getting stung by them um, not a fear at all no but I'll tell you something hornets I'm more wary of them now like bees and wasps no problem at all but hornets yeah I'm a bit more weary yeah because they hurt they blew my face up like a balloon. That was horrendous. It was bad. Oh, but bees, no, I love bees. I still stroke bees. Oh, yeah, you do. <laughs> well, thank you for all your questions. Yeah, they were good you. ones today. I'm down here, Mazzy. I'm down here. <laughs> yeah, we'll leave it at that for now. Doesn't look like we're going anywhere in a hurry. This was our little gap to get out. The same as with all the other motorhomes in this car park <laughs> there's two cars parked there oh great to suggest now then i'm gonna try and swing that open but there's a guy there i can't swing it open can i i don't think that's going to see that's the way to get in and out but bigger vehicles can come through this gap here so we're stuck well we thought it were a gap didn't we but it's obviously not, you can see it's a parking spot. Well, we're not the only ones that parks, parked in there, are we? Is there no way out up the top? No, it's another, it's got a height barrier again. I'm going to have to take a walk. To where? Oh, he's only just made it. Take a walk to where? What, what's that going to do? See if the other one opens, because I, I thought I saw it opened. But it's obviously not this one. The other one might swing open. Well, let's take a drive up there. Oh, no, because I want me to park up there. It's busy, isn't it? 
Yay, Dan's found a back way out. <laughs> as long as he can open it. Yay! Can he do it? Have a look. <laughs> Mezzy to the rescue. We're out. I'm not getting out of here. Oh. I'll get down there. Uh, go down any other road. Yeah, looks like you can go down there. Do you know which way? Oh, you're just sitting in the middle of the road, honey. We got out. Yay, thank you. You did well then. <sighs> Now I've got to scrape us all the way down here. Yeah. <laughs> I won't be uh, sad to get out of here, to be honest. No, you you personally don't seem like you've enjoyed today. No. Is it just your day or is it the place? It's just that car park. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, I see. Now we're due to get some diesel, are we? Well, it's... <laughs> It's a mile to the campsite, and I'm, I think we've got enough in tank. I don't think we sure. have. It's not even telling you how many miles we got anymore, and we're paying more than. Come we on, could woman. Have done. Relax. I hate it when they do that. <laughs> Petrol stations. She might be waiting for somebody. She's sat on her at bottom, <laughs> doing nothing. We'll come back to you when we're a little bit happier. Relax on campsite. Smile, keep smiling. Oh, she's waiting for her. Yeah, you're arriving on campsite. Don't ask us where. I have yards, no idea. The destination will be on the left. It's got no vowels in it, so I don't know how you say it. Oh, it's a skinny one up here. We're gonna make it. We're gonna make it. <laughs> I hope it's got some trees around. I just hope it's got somewhere to put a chair and drink a beer. <laughs> Bonk your bum. I've had a stressful hour. <laughs> oh wow, this looks bigger than I, I would have ever imagined. Okay. Oh, I think you're going to like this, babe. I think so. Yeah, I think you will. So there is actually some kind of restaurant on the site, I think, as well. Uh, do we have to go to reception? Yeah. Okay, just been greeted by the lovely gentleman who works here. He actually knows us. <laughs> that was a little bit embarrassing. He was like, ah, oh, where have you been? I was expecting you one o'clock. And then Dad had to moan and complain what sort of a morning he's had. And we've been stuck in a car park. But, um, yeah, so they've got like a smokehouse restaurant here. So we have said that we are going to treat ourselves. Probably not tonight. Um, it's just one of those days today and not only that it opens at five tonight but opens at three on a Saturday which is much better suits us so that'll be good I do actually think also that we will be doing maybe like a little campsite walk around on this one we'd already discussed that we would because we haven't done it for some time but we feel like this one's going to be worthy of um, a little walk around it's got a lot here I think I can, I, the pictures I'm looking at at the minute just look amazing, so I'm really looking forward to getting pitched up now. Is he taking us to our bed? Yeah. Oh, a lovely man. He knows us, he watches his videos. Yeah, I just mentioned that. <laughs> so we're on N4. N4. Looks like we're next to a caravan there, look. A static caravan. Oh, wow, in some trees. At each side, by the look of Oh, it. okay. We're shoved out the middle of nowhere, away from all the rest of no, them. No, they're always well. They're always well. <laughs> right, you're going to get through here because this guy's just pulled I'm up and. To reverse a bit, hang on. Hold on, no, it's him, I think. No, he's moving. Yeah, maybe he's getting. Hold on, babe. No, he ain't, he ain't, he ain't. He ain't getting taken to his pitch. Not as far as I'm aware. <laughs> no. Thank you. Good man. <laughs> yeah, look at this, babe. Wow. Yeah. This is nice, isn't it? It's all kind of like different platforms, up, down, in between. So it was camping and caravanning club by the sound of it, but not anymore. Oh, I see. So we'll be up here, won't we? 
Oh, is that where we are? Oh, they're the ones that I saw initially, and I thought, oh, that looks lovely up there. It looks very reception -y up there. Reception-y. I was in. Internet. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's higher up. Oh, it's lovely, isn't it? It's a really peculiar sight. In a nice way, I mean. It's got trees anywhere. Yeah, we like trees, don't we? It gives the place character and. Well, I thought we were up there. We're not. <laughs> well, that wouldn't have made sense on here. Well, you've got the map, I haven't. Because you said we were next to a static for a start. Oh, we're going to get to look down at everyone. Yeah, and I've got me on playground. Oh, yeah. <laughs> cool. Oh, this is so nice. tree to hide under. Oh, my gutty. We're facing that way, yeah? Yeah, definitely. That's the view. And this is our lovely pitch. I'm shouting. I don't know why I feel like I'm shouting, just because we're up high, I suppose. Do you want to know name at campsite? Yeah. <clears throat> it's no vowels, remember. Tidin Lewin. Tidin Lewin Caravan Park. Have I said that right? Someone tell me. It's, it's spelt like that, look, can you see it? Tidin Lewin. And uh, we got shown to us pitch by the lovely Paul. Yeah. I have to say that because he watches us videos. Yeah. <laughs> you know, let's be honest. He stunk a maggots and he looked like a womble, if I were being honest. Oh! No. Lovely he'll, man. he'll be out back lovely up man. tomorrow. He was a lovely man. Right, so, what, are you talking? Because I've only got a little bit of battery. I just wanted to quickly show Sorry. him where we are. Right, so he's placed us up the top here. Away from everybody else. Away from everybody else. He knows what we like. And look at the view. Yeah, look, Dan's happy. Look, he's got his internet pole. Not that we need it. There is a, a pub over there, which opens at five. It opens at three tomorrow, so we might go in tomorrow afternoon. I'd mentioned that. Oh, have you? Apparently there's live music there tonight. Paul did ask us if we were going to go yeah. up tonight. I don't think we will tonight. It's just been one of them days today, isn't it? There is kites. Yeah. Birds around. Yeah, I've already seen them that. Squawking away. And it's just beautiful. It is a beautiful view, isn't it? Yeah. So it is like a static... Um, I don't know if they're just seasonal or is it a holiday park as well? A bit of both. A bit of everything, I think. Yeah. Yeah, really nice. Yeah. Quick then, you've got all my battery time left. Quick, Tuck, what was you going to say? I wasn't going to say anything. Is that it? I didn't have what to say. Well, sit down and enjoy your beer. Sound good to you? <laughs> oh. Oh. 